most Jewish festivals can be summed up by that awful Jewish joke, they tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat. On Seder night, we seem to relive, not just retell, our exodus from Egypt. We eat maro to remind us of the bitterness that we need to taste. The salt water that we have reminds us of the tears that we shed when we were in slavery. We eat haroset, which reminds us of the bricks that we had to make. The question we have to wonder is why it is that we have to go to such lengths to relive one of the darkest periods in Jewish history. I'd like to share with you an insight and an idea which I think is exceptionally relevant to us all in dealing with the challenges of life. So a couple gets married and they decide that they're going to go on an adventurous honeymoon to a rustic cabin in the forest, settle down on the first night and all of a sudden they hear this constant tapping on the roof and they discover to their amazement there's a woodpecker and the whole night is tapping, tapping, tapping. The next morning they're exhausted but they say rather than let it overshadow the honeymoon they're going to forget it, put it behind them and go out for the day. Next night they settle down and the same thing happens, the woodpecker's tapping away and so with the third night. As they're packing their bags, about to prepare for their journey back, the wife turns to the husband and she says, we have had the most incredible time, the most outstanding honeymoon that any couple could possibly have. All we need to do is to now figure out why. Objectively, one could say they were miserable, sleep deprived, and had every reason and justification for being frustrated and blaming the other. As they drove home, Walter and Grace Lance reflected on the nightmare of their honeymoon. And they considered what had transpired. And they came up and devised the character which would be known as a cartoon, Woody the Woodpecker, bringing them tremendous fame and fortune. Over 50 years later, they were interviewed and asked about what was the greatest experience they had ever had in life. And without missing a beat, in unison they said, it was the night they spent on a honeymoon with the woodpecker. It was the worst conceivable honeymoon, and yet they chose to see it as something exceptionally positive. The Tzemach Tzedek, the famous Hasidic master, famously said that if a person thinks good, then it will be good. It's up to us the way we decide to determine and define our own reality. We all go through various ordeals and difficulties in life. Whether we see them in a positive or a negative light, that is entirely up to us. John Wooden famously said that things turn out the best when people make the best of the way things turn out. As a nation, we turned out the best precisely because we had to endure the very worst. For each of us in our own lives, this is a message and a challenge for us to know that we can't choose the situations very often that we find ourselves in. But the way that we respond, be it positive or negative, that is something that is entirely up to us and it's in our hands. Chag Sameach.